Hello all, this is Death from Ace. I'm going to do another video for Still Storm Ammo. I'm going to show off the editor today. Uh, I've made uh, my own map, or at least uh, my own parts of the map. Uh, the general layout's the same as all the other ones. <coughs> Alright. So far what I have are the, uh, the creeps, two um, spawners, uh, fuck, what was this called? I think it was like an unstable core and then a trigger. And as you can see, I have the same on the blue side. And uh, these are where you can get your items. So, if I show the pathing, this shows uh, exactly where all my minions are going and the path that they follow. So what I have is uh, each team has uh, seven creeps per thing and then they follow the path and they go all the way to the other side and the same as for the other one uh, the blue side is coming to this right here and they will end up attacking this uh, and that's when the match starts and I also have uh, each uh, individual one tied to this trigger relay and uh, sorry about that, there's some sound on Skype went off. And uh, what that does is it makes them spawn once they die. I could probably set a timer to it, but I'm not doing that right now. And what I have is I have this one tied to this, because this has a shield that it won't, uh, like if you attack it, you won't do damage. So on this one I have target. And wh what the target means on this is once somebody kills this, uh, whatever I attach it to, it will get uh, turned off. So this has to start off. So I can make it where if they kill this, it would turn it on. Um, right, and I, for a while, I had both of these attached to it. But what it did is, if you blew this up, it would turn it off. And if you blew the other one up, it would turn it back on. So that didn't work out. Uh, you can still you can do different things. Like let me make a. Uh, I have a, a jungle over here. Oh, it looks like they're attacking. So I have it on this guy right here. I have him attached to the the full hill, full armor. So once he dies, this spawns. And I have this guy roaming around the jungle. And once he dies, this spawns. Uh, currently there's an error, or maybe not an error, but I've messed up on it. Where once he dies, this will keep on spawning every so often, even if he doesn't die again. Uh, so I'm currently going to try fixing that and they get a little too close to uh, the uh, side so they end up getting attacked by the creeps and I don't want that hmm. so I'll do a very basic thing I'm gonna start off on the red side so let me go over here uh, so one of my ideas was to do something like this so we've got the fusion core rack force field. So since these are extremely uh, uh, since these are extremely easy to kill I was planning on having them in a force field. Uh, so like right now if I went in game I couldn't get past this because it's the same type of thing as this. You have to deactivate it. So let's say I set it to something like oh well let's say I set it to Another fusion core rack. Oh. Actually, let's do a data key. So I can make it. I'm gonna click on it. Hmm, actually, let's not do the key. I haven't messed with that enough to do it. Uh, but for a very easy thing, let me set it to another rack. So if I had this one targeting this. And I had this targeting this. Uh, in theory, it should let me blow it up. So let me save it. Reload it. Close editor. Join blue team. Oh. And let me get over there. Uh, the sound might be a little loud when I boost, so I apologize.
I'll kind of show this off though. I probably should have uh, gotten a better item. Eh, I'm not gonna show that man. So, I blow that up, I blow that up, and this went off. So now I could kill this. I don't do a lot of damage with this. Uh, but that's basically how that would work. So let me go back to the server. Uh, typically you can... Uh, edit your server and play automatically like just uh, without having to close it but there's a current there's a bug currently that does not let you do that uh, but it was working before so I it will come back later I suspect uh, like what else can you do there's a lot of pretty cool things I haven't messed with a lot of them like, like I don't even know what that means like does that mean like I can trigger the sound to go off I haven't messed with all that yet. Um, but yeah, th there's quite a few things you can do here. There's a terminal. Oh. So let me go back to the red side. Oh, that's the blue side. Alright, there's a terminal, and with this, you can uh, hack stuff, upload stuff, download, activate, deactivate. Uh, items makes it one of these uh, where you can just uh, change your items from it. Uh, activate and deactivate are obvious. Download, upload, and hack. I don't entirely know what those are supposed to do or how they work. I haven't messed with them enough and maybe there's nothing to hack at the moment or it could be just uh, maybe prompts that it gives you on uh, like what you're getting like if you make a uh, an objective for it. But for now let's try deactivating a shield from it using a key. So let's do force field 2. For the front of it, let's put a fusion rack. There's a data key and the trigger relay. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this. Target that. We're going to have this trigger to this. I'm going to have this trigger that, and this is going to be, no, so that is, ah, damn it, alright, so this, this will trigger that, and let's do touch trigger, move it to there, trigger this. So if the key triggers this, and this triggers that, and this triggers that, that should work right. Am I getting mixed up? But let's try it out. Try that again. Alright, make sure I got it. So this is the trigger for this. That seems right. 
Let's check. Make sure I saved it. Do the mission. Close the editor. Alright, so stand out and nothing happens. It seemed to take a second for the key to spawn last time. Let's hope it spawns at this time. Or to only spawn because I got on here last time. So maybe I was triggering it f to spawn from the the initial thing. So let's clear all this crap. Clear target, clear target, clear association, clear trigger. Clear trigger from that, clear trigger, clear association, clear target. Alright, so uh, based off of this, this targets this, and it turns it off. So this should target the field to turn it off. This should trigger this, and this should be targeted by that. Now it'll be the target when I work on that. So this would just trigger this. Because if this triggers that, right? That triggers that, this triggers that, that triggers that. That seems pretty sound to me. But what triggers the key? The key should just be there, but unless I have to trigger the key to spawn. Let's reload it. Let's close the editor. No key. time then we'll just say I do not know how to do it. Oh shit, I said yeah that's red. So it's set to red team is set to deactivate. So and par is a key. That's not key. Obviously that's the target. That targets that. Alright, so maybe, maybe it's supposed to be, maybe this is supposed to be targeted. So it's targeted and this is the trigger. Let's try that. Oh, and I changed the view because the controls are a little weird when I was first month. Alright, so that targets that, that targets this, and this turns it off. Nope. Alright, I don't know how to do it. I might be missing something or it might just not be in, I don't know. Uh, but that'll be the end of the video. I'll see you guys later.